Hey guys, we back with another video. Uh, this time we're playing this game called Sagebrush. From what I saw from the page, it was uh, it was like a narrative story about like a post-apocalyptic cultist thing in New Mexico. Um, like I, I, it just looked really interesting, so I thought I thought we would play it. But uh, yeah, that's all that's all I know about it. A new game. Okay, let's just let's just hope it sounds good. Now that I've adjusted. The volume. I don't even know if it's saved over to be honest. We'll see. We'll see. We got our, our gamer fuel. I met Anne first, waiting for the bus. Normally, I avoid talking to just about anybody, but she struck up the conversation. She was so pleasant, so confident. She smiled at me as if she had known me as a kid, and we were just catching up after all these years. She told me she could tell I had a hole in my life. She knew what that was like, she said. She had also had a hole, but it was gone now. I asked her what she was selling, and she laughed and said nothing, nothing at all, that what she had to offer was free for anyone who wanted it bad enough. I asked her what had helped her. She just said, James. Game re redact. I thought I said redact. I'm watching too much in this game. Hard switch. I mean, that sounded really interesting, I gotta say. I know the, the audio is not perfect right now. I mean, I think it was fine to just stay quiet during that part. Can I, can I move around? Black Sage Ran. Yeah. Oh, new. Northwest of Albuquerque, set of the nineteen ninety three perfect occasion, having mass suicide. Oh wow, that is very sensitive. Uh, options. Let's lower this to a point one, and then let's put that to like a twenty and see how that feels. Apply zoom. Oh, that feels so much better. Hopefully, like I don't need a high sensitivity, but like that was just. A lot. What if I walk backwards? You know, I just, I don't want to be here. I know this takes place in 1993. This is a bit before I was born. Fun fact about me, I was born in New Mexico. Oh. I just pressed space randomly because I like jumping. There's no, there's nothing but dirt roads and dust that way. You have to go inside. Okay, okay. Sheesh. Can I jump? There's a car there. Let's look at the car. Legit games like these though, where it's so pixely, I just I feel like I have bad vision. To interact with the highlight object, press E. Examine. Not going to lie, you're surprised it actually made it all the way here. You brought some gear in the trunk. Can I get it? Pick up wire cutters. Press tab for inventory. Pair of wire cutters you borrowed from the house. Okay. Anything else to look at? No, I guess let's head inside. What does that say? Black Sage Ranch. I mean, yeah, I guess that's the name of the game. Examine gate. The gate won't budge, and you didn't bring anything to bust through. Huh. Should I just climb the fence then? Why can't I just climb the fence? Can I jump over that? Nope. Huh. To use an item, interact with an object to bring up the inventory, then press... Examine fence. Repair use. The wire cutter clipped through the rusty fence easily and create a small hole. Okay, cool, cool. I guess we're not supposed to be here. I don't know why we're breaking in. That's a cool looking building. Oh, the window's broken. Good, we are so slow. I can't interact with that. 
Well, let's look at the stuff outside. Turn on generator? Sure, why not? A diesel generator. There's a keyhole next to the ignition button. You wonder if there's any gas remaining after all of this time. Tab. Okay. Let's just look around. There's a little puddle here or something. No, it's just a shadow, I think. <laughs> I wish there was a way to run. What if I click control? No, that didn't work. Sure. Oh, shift does make me run. Let's go. Let's go. Yo. That's a game changer right there. So that's blowing me up. So I think I looked at everything. So let's just enter, I guess. Open that door too. Why not? Oh, they open two different ways. Oh, it is very dark in here. <laughs> I don't. I'll examine bulletin board. It's too dark to read anything. You so right. Except when you highlight it like that. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Keep the door open. Keep the door open. We don't want it closed behind us. That's not cool. Okay, examine table. Moldy dishes litter the table, stained and dusty. There's no food, though. Wild animals likely finish the scraps. Okay, the door has to close behind us, I guess. Okay, yeah, that's all gonna say the same thing. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, take that. Well, uh, I had just graduated from college. You know I was a communications major. That part was true. So, I graduated and I couldn't find a job. I had no idea what I wanted to do and got pretty depressed. My boyfriend at the time said I was holding him back and took off, so that was that. I could have moved home, but I didn't. I stayed out in California, but it's not like I had any friends there. My parents would call and I would just lie about how things were going. I didn't know what I wanted because, I guess, I didn't really want anything. I would wake up and just count the seconds ticking off of my life until I fell back asleep. We were all broken in some way, I think. Some more than others. Wow, they just had to hit us hard right there, okay. I probably said the same thing, yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, okay. God, it is so dark in this room. Is this a door? Okay, yeah, that's a door. And these are doors too, let's go through this one first. There's this like, a fridge. God, it is... Can you guys see anything? Cause I can't. I act. Wow. What is this little... Like, steps? I don't know, I can't see at all. Oh my god, where- Oh, there's a light switch! No, they have. Oh, okay, yeah, I have to find that key, I guess. And then we can see stuff. Open. Huh. Examine freeze. The interior is coated, coated in the long, dried, blackened remains of various melted frozen foods. Mm. A huge can of pork and beans, just like you used to eat growing up. There's a small can. Oh, I can hear like flies in here. A small tin of green beans dented on the side of the sink. Flies buzz around the sink and uh, around a sink piled with unwashed dishes. You fiddle with the knobs, there is no hiss of gas, no clicking ignition. This range is long dead. Can't look at that cereal, I'm guessing that is. Oh, there's another refrigerator. You open the door and immediately slam it shut after the overwhelming stench of rotting meat hits your nostrils. Huh. I couldn't find anything in here, I guess. Oh, kitchen frayer. Oh, it's too dark to read anything. Is that how I got in, or... No, this is another room. Tons of cereal boxes and none of the sugary stuff, though. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. Examine boxes. Cardboard boxes labeled utensils, decorations, grains, etc. Well, I think that's as much as I can explore in here. Okay, let's get out. 
Oh, there's a guitar here. A nice instrument once. Now the strings are rusted and the lacquer faded. Hmm, I can see the, the stand. Oh, there's music sheet on it. Music sheet music. A suit art to read anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's this? Open door. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, performance schedule, Monday. Josiah, uh, I seriously have no idea how to pronounce it. I always see it in writing. Plays original hymns. Tuesday, gospel readings. Wednesday, Juliet violin recital. Thursday, gospel reading. Friday, children's reenactment of the book of Samuel. I'll be honest here, I, I know nothing about Christianity here. Like, I, I grew up Jewish, so I only know about the Torah, the Old Testament. I don't know anything about New Testament. So if I look stupid looking at this stuff, that's why. Oh, D for next, okay. Note, the power has been pretty finicky lately. You might have to restart the generators to get the lights back on. The key is in the box and the generator is around the side. Andrew. Thank you, Andrew. So we'll, we'll go turn on that generator and then we'll explain that. Oh, right, I can run with shift, I forgot. Use. You turn the key, press the generator, press the button, and the generator hums to life. Woo, let's go. Alright, run, 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 run. Oh my god, there's music. Is there a light switch? Light switch? Light switch? No? Light switch? Oh, thank god. A perfect heaven awaits those of faith. Is there seriously not a light switch in here, though? Because I want to read this. Yeah, like, what the- Where's their light switch? Oh, there it is. Can I read this now? Good to know the newest member of the flock. Welcome them with open arms and open hearts. My name is Christopher. I'm from the Flagstaff. I was a farmer from the Hope to lend my expertise to help feed the flock. Fun fact. I hold the record for the most blue ribbons at the Arizona State Fair Live Livestock Competition. I feel like I had to read that in a southern accent, but I, I've lived in the south my whole life and I don't know how to do a southern accent. I don't know. Accents are hard, man. I'm Viola and my two wonderful children, my son Lucas and daughter Juliet, are from Fres Fresno. I'll be helping out with schooling our children in the ways of the Lord. Fun fact, I was born in Vancouver, so I'm technically also Canadian. I mean, you're not technically, you, you, you are Canadian, right? <laughs> Hello, I'm Peyton. I'm from a small town in Oklahoma. You've probably never heard of. I ran a grocery store in town, but ever since it shut down, I've been looking for something more. Father James is helping me find that. Fun fact, I served in the Navy for a term. Hello, friends. I'm Candace. I love cooking and crafts, so hope I can help en energize the flock so that we may fulfill his work. Fun fact, I can speak three languages. That is really cool. Uh, I'm Josiah, and I'm so thankful to you and to the Lord for giving me a home after years living on the streets. I finally feel like I have a family. Fun fact, blank. Uh, hello, I'm Lillian. I was a student at USC before I dropped out because I couldn't stand in indoctrination anymore. I was looking for truth, and I didn't find it there. Now I know. I was looking in the wrong places. Fun fact, I've been to four continents in the last three years. That is really cool, actually. My name is Vance. I saw through the lies of my parents' as church. They were filling our heads with blasphemy. Now I see the truth of it because of Father James. Fun fact, I'm a really fast reader. I wonder if I'm going to have to know that later. Okay, well, we can close that. What's this? Map. It can be a little confusing getting around our little home. Don't worry, Sister Anne has printed some maps to help you get acclimated. Is there more? No. M. Oh. So we're, so that's, yeah, we're in the community hall right now, okay. Oh wait, I pressed, I pressed escape. I keep wanting to press escape to like, exit out and stuff. Huh. Oh, pamphlet. Have you sinned? Are you plagued by doubt? Do you fear death? Do you have the nagging feeling that your church doesn't have the answers? There is a reason. Father James can help. Well, let's explore through here, because we already went through here. So we couldn't read that. Oh, we can read the sheet music now, actually. Read sheet music. When we all go to heaven, sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Sing his mercy and his grace. In the mansions brought and blessed, he'll prepare for us a place. I wonder if this is an actual song they sing in church. <laughs> uh, D, right. 
When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we'll sing and shout the victory. While we walk the pilgrim pathway, clouds will overspread the sky. But when traveling days are over, not a shadow, not a sigh. Let us then be true and faithful, trusting, serving every day. Just one glimpse of him in glory will the toils of life repay. Onwards the prize before us, soon his beauty will behold. Soon the pearly gates will open. We shall tread the streets of gold.